This is Tyler Lewis here with Phenon Hoops. We're honored today to have one of the best shooting guards in the state, DJ Nick. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for letting me. Have, thank you for letting me be here. No problem, man. Um, really enjoy watching you play. I know what a type um, a player you are, person you are. You come from a great family. Um, you had a tremendous year this past season at Cannon. You're following up with a tremendous um, AAU season so far with Team Charlotte. And you guys are ranked number one in the country right now, so that's pretty that's pretty special. Yes, sir. Um, and Ca and Cannon coming off a state championship. So right now you're just winning everything. That's a good thing. Yes, sir. That's what I do. I win. I, I tell people all the time that's the best comp uh, that's the best compliment you can get is you are a winner. Yes, like, sir. No, no matter whatever what else you do on the court, the main thing that you can be said about you is being a winner. So before we get into travel ball, kind of talk me through winning a state championship and your state championship run. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, coming into high school um, and coming off, you know, the state championship with Jaden, uh, you know, I was on cloud nine, but I knew that this next one uh, with losing some players would, you know, it'd be a little tougher. Uh, obviously, we picked up a name in Karan. Um, you know, huge energy player, and we got Christian a little more healthy. But ultimately, it would come down to us merging together with some new pieces um, and starting over completely with a pretty much new team. Um, there was ups and downs. I think we finished 27 and 6 or 27 and 5. Um, and those five really felt, you know, magnified in our schedule because uh, after a certain point, you know, losing became kind of, you know, a little detriment to us. Um, going into the playoffs, we played great teams. Um, you know, Covenant Day, uh, Biz and Iffy. I mean, they they were they were tough. Uh, Greensboro Day was definitely tough, and Carmel was you know number one team all year. Um, we really, you know, like Coach said, you know, we took it one day at a time. Um, you know, all of us played well. I played. Sometimes I would be the guy. Karan would be the guy. Jarvis would be the guy. Um, Christian would be the guy. But we all played together. There was never any type of, uh, you know, selfish selfishness, you know, no, no envious. No, nobody was jealous of anybody. Uh, we came together. We worked together. Uh, and we got it done. And that feeling, I mean, it, it just, it's really hard to put into words what, exactly what winning a championship like that means, especially in a conference just like ours. Um, I mean, it means so much. And I'm so happy we could do it with this group. And I, I'm so happy I could be back to back. So, yeah, I mean, that's a big time accomplishment, back to back. Now, now you got to go for the three-peat. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Sounds good. No, and, you know, that's, it speaks to what you guys do and Coach Roth does at Cannon, that you guys can have a different player every night step up. And that's what's special about you guys. You aren't selfish. I mean, you all play the game the right way. And you, do, you play the game the right way, no matter if you're a team, Charlotte, Cannon, wherever. And you do so many great things on the court. What would you say is your best attribute on the court? Um, I really like shooting the ball. Um, you know, obviously my percentages, I had I would hold the record right now, 50% behind the three-point line. I was a 50-50-90 player this year. Um, 50% 50, 50 from the field. I think a little over that actually, like 60% from the field, uh, 50% behind the three-point line, 90% uh from the free throw line. So uh it was, you know, I shoot the ball very well, and I take shots that I know I can make. I don't, you know, try to force anything. Um, I let the offense come to me. Even with Team Charlotte, uh, you know, a little different, but still they let me play, and they let me do what I need to do. I rebounding, you know, rebounding, defending, uh, you know, the corner. The corner is my spot. So, you know, just that's what I do. I shoot the ball, but I also do love help getting my teammates involved, you know, coming in whenever coach needs me to be, you know, this type of guy that needs to get a stop. Um, really, I'm just, you know, I guess my biggest attribute is being somebody that coaches can look at and be like, oh, we need something. That's the guy that we're going to go to. So uh, that's that's what I would say. No, that's awesome. And you definitely you definitely can shoot that. You can shoot the cover off the ball. So, yes, sir, and I feel like if, you know, you shoot it, it's going in. So yes, sir. You, you, you play with you play on um, with two great coaches with Buzzy and Coach Shea, um with AAU and school ball. What have you learned from those coaches? What's one thing that you learned from those coaches that you take away on and off the court? Um, well, definitely, you know, the whole team Charlotte culture, you know, they really love defense. 
And I think coming into playing with them uh, my freshman year and then coming back to them this year, um, you know, defense is something that they, you know, if you want to be on the court, you got to play defense and you have to learn how to have like a dog mentality. And I think that, you know, my time being with Team Charlotte in both of those two years, I've definitely grown in that aspect. Um, defense, uh, but also my mentality. You know, my mentality is now it went from more of a, um, you know, see, you know, just be out there, shoot, you know, when you get the ball to more you know, go at people's necks. And, I, you know, that's something I definitely will take away. Those two things I would definitely take away from them. For sure. And then, you know, getting into Team Charlotte's right now because you already started talking about the defensive culture and just, you know, playing, being a dog out there on the court. Undefeated so far this season, won multiple tournaments. What are you looking forward to this summer being back on the circuit? Hopefully having all these coaches coming out to see you guys this summer. What's, what, what are you looking forward to most? I'm definitely looking forward to the teams that we play. Uh, we definitely know we have some teams. We have a target on our back. I mean, number one, um, you know, we're going to try to hold it. And, you know, people are going to try to come for us. You know, we, we have a lot of teams locally uh, on the circuit that are just really thin they can beat us. Um, but, you know, I, we really want to prove that we belong, uh, that we all, you know, all, every one of us on our team, you know, we, we can play. We can hoop, uh, you know, everybody. And I feel like, you know, this circuit season, not me, not, not only me, but the whole team, we're looking to prove ourselves, um, show that, you know, we're number one for a reason. For sure. And I, I know you are going to continue to show why you guys are number one. Like mm. the one thing I love about Team Charlotte and the way you guys play is win or lose, like you guys are always going to play hard. Just, yeah. Y'all going to leave it out there on the court. Y'all are tough. Like, I mean, whenever somebody plays a Team Charlotte team, you know you it's going to be a dog fight. That's right. That's a testament to our coaches. Uh, you know, Jeff, Keenan. Tim, Buzzy, I mean, they, you know, they, they really do have a great emphasis on playing hard and playing defense. I mean, if that's something that, you know, anybody wants to know about, you know, if you want to play with Team Charlotte, you just got to play hard, play deep. And, you know, obviously, you know, be a good hooper too, but, you know. For sure, for sure. Um, lately, you've been picking up a lot of interest, a lot of offers. Um, how has the recruitment process been for you so far? Um, it's definitely been uh, on an upward spiral as of recently. Um, you know, going into Team Charlotte, it was kind of a little slow, but now it's definitely starting to pick up. Um, just, I mean, you know, just last night, I got an offer from UNCG. Um, you know, Tulsa's talking to me, Temple's talking to me, Brown, um, Howard. Uh, those are just some of the more recent schools that have been uh, reaching out. Um, you know, really, it's really starting to pick up. Um, you know, the, the schools that are, have offered me are really starting to amp down, like App State. Uh, got off a Zoom call with them a couple of days ago. Um, you know, they're a great program. Um, Tulsa coach always talks to me. He, you know, talks to me a lot. I really do have a lot of respect for that, that uh, organization. So just, you know, just, that's just a couple of schools that have been reaching out to me on the upward spiral. So, I mean, everything's looking pretty good for, for me right now. Of course, I'm still going to go out there, still going to go out there and play. Hopefully, I'll get more schools to join that list. For sure. And whatever, whatever school gets you, they're getting a special person. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Um, when did you kind of first fall in love with the game of basketball? And when did you realize, like, hey, I can play this game at the next level? Um, I started playing the game of basketball at when, since I was three. But when I fell in love with it first was probably when I was playing with Team United uh, my eighth grade in my eighth grade year. Uh, I had a little breakout, a couple breakout tournaments. And then I really started to really focus down on it my uh, eighth grade summer going to ninth grade. Um, that's when I really started to understand that maybe I can take this thing to, you know, a high school level or not high school. I can transition from high school and then go to college and maybe make it pro. So I really started to work from uh, eighth grade summer uh, currently and, you know, improve my body, improve my jump shot, uh, ball handling skills, defense, everything that I could. Uh, it really started from eighth grade. For sure. Um, obviously, whenever you commit to a school, what type of person are they going to get in DJ Knicks? We're going to get a fun guy. I mean, I, you know, obviously I like to have fun. I'm a people person. I mean, this, this Canada environment, you know, people love me. Teachers love me. Um, students love me. Uh, I'm in a really good position. I have good grades. So, you know, if someone needs help, then, you know, I'm going to help them. Um, 
I'm really just going to get a really a fun guy. Obviously, you're going to get a winner um, for basketball purposes. You're going to get someone that knows how to win and knows what it takes to win. Um, but off the court, you're going to get somebody that, you know, people would love to be around. People can talk to freely um, and just, you know, someone that if you really need help, I'll be there for. Awesome. And yeah, I know that's going to that's going to carry over from where you're at now and when you get to college. Um, sure. Who has been some of the biggest role models in your life? Um, obviously my parents, I mean, my mom, um, she does it all for our house. I mean, there's five of us running around my sibling, my three other siblings, my, my dad, and shoot, if you even want to throw in my dog, he's in there too. Um, I mean, my mom does everything for our house. I mean, she, she really does work. She works so hard. She has a job, but she, you know, finds a way to, you know, come, come down, you know, support us, be at all of our tournaments, give us all our stuff. Uh, my dad as well. I mean, you know, he he's he got he has a gym. He trains me. Um, he helps my all my siblings. They all but they all make time for us uh, equally. And it's not really, like, you know, like they have they're in they're invested in one thing. They have a lot of other things so going on, but they still make time for us. So definitely my parents for sure. Um, as far as like outside of family, um, I watch a lot of LeBron. And I think that he's had like a really big impact on my game because I like the way that he can get others involved while himself dominating the game as well. Um, and it's not just sometimes, you know, some nights AD will be the guy, but LeBron will still be a factor. And that's kind of what I want. I want to be able to help my teammates get involved as well as elevate myself. So, so is LeBron your, your favorite player? Is he, is, is, is he the goat? Is he the goat? Ooh, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, is he the GOAT? Man, I would say this. If LeBron James wins, if he beats the – if they somehow make it into the playoffs, which is looking a little spotty right now, if they make it into the playoffs and they beat the Clippers and they beat the Nets, there's no argument. There's no argument for that. Like, there really is an argument. There's no more argument. No more – nobody's going to say anything. Nobody should say anything. I mean, it's it's not – it shouldn't even be a question. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm a, I'm a big LeBron fan too, so – I, I, yes, I'm right. Sir. I'm right there with you. Being, yes, sir. Being, being from North Carolina is my last question. Being from North Carolina, winning state championships in North Carolina. What does it mean being from the hoop state? I mean, it means everything. Obviously, they call it the hoop state for a reason. We have probably the best class um, in in the state. Um, a lot of talent, and you know, to be coming out of this hoop state and to be regarded as one of the best in it from my class I mean that means a lot um you know it goes it just goes back to the work I put in uh and the people the coaches that have been around me to help elevate me um you know coach Rowe at uh, as well as the whole coaching staff here at Cannon I mean they've really done their best to give me a platform and I've taken it um but also you know my me and myself it, it goes back to my work ethic um you know being in the gyms early morning um you know after school um, I really do love the game of basketball and to be regarded as one of the best coming out of here. I mean, it means a lot. So for sure. The hoop state's definitely a special place. A lot of great players are in it. A lot of great players that came in the past and then in the future, it's just filled with so much talent. So yes, sir. it's definitely an honor being from the hoop state for sure. And you know, the hoop state is glad you're in it. That's for a fact. I appreciate it. So, well, there you have it. DJ Nix, thanks for joining us today, man. It's been a pl pleasure. And just keep on winning, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you. Yes, sir.